one national <laughs> overall class physique champion. A man with the good hair. <laughs> He's good hair. So, bam! You already know. What's going on, everybody? Carlos Thomas Jr. here, and I am with my boy Eric Avalon, and he is the 2021 National uh, Class of Physique Champion. And we actually won our pro card at the same show. I'm with mine overall in bodybuilding, and with his overall in Class of Physique. And today we're gonna put you through a back workout. So this is my secondary back workout. Uh, so it consists of a little bit more. Uh, volume, you know, really focusing on the squeeze and the stretches, so I kind of lessen the intensifiers from my past back workout, so not a lot of drop sets, not a lot of supersets, um, but just mostly straight sets uh, with a little bit more increased volume and really focus on the contraction of the muscle here. So, we'll put you the workout and we'll do some, twi some quick tips as we go along. Hey, Eric, what's that Instagram? Uh, Eric underscore Avalon. So for my followers here, I'll be plugging Carlos and all my stuff too. So make sure you follow his YouTube, you know? What's your YouTube and what's your uh, Instagram, Carlos? So the YouTube is uh, Thighs and Buys, and the Instagram is Carlos underscore Thomas Jr. So. Let's get it. <laughs> so here, we're just going to do like the simple like standing uh, pull over here. We're going to use a rope attachment. And as I said before, for my secondary back workout, it's more focused on volume and the contraction, a little bit less intensifiers. Uh, but we might add an intensifier on this one, just a drop set. So we'll do um, three sets of 12 to 15, and with a three second eccentric, so negative. And then we'll do on the last set, a drop set of around like 25 pounds, and we'll go to failure. You feel like this gets all the blood pumping into your lower lats or your upper lats? So, I really feel this one and like just like the whole lat. So when I'm doing this, like a lot of people like push their chest through and arch their back, which is good. Um, but I feel it's like if I keep more of a neutral spine um, and I don't really arch over too much, I can really contract that lat. Um, so when I feel like I like, kind of arch back all the way through, I feel like it's more upper, upper back for me because the way my arm pulls. So I keep more of a neutral spine, more flat back. And what's your standpoint on this workout, Eric? Do you like going fast, slow, negatives, pause? What is it? I like using mindful, controlled repetition, depending on how fast you want the blood flow to get into the lab. And depending on how the angle it goes, usually when you start to get lower and lower, it starts to target more of your lower lats. And as you get higher and higher, with your back straight like this, it starts to target more of your terrace majorly. So right now, I'm kind of in like an in-between, hitting all parts of my lats. Alright, go ahead. You hear me? You say it? So, so don't ask my step. I got you. <laughs> so, so for those of you that don't know, this is Emilio. Yes, he is sir. my assistant slash model slash best friend slash he just does everything. So he's working out too. Here we go. Emilio might be competing in men's physique. This would be pretty awesome. He's got potential, doesn't he, Carlos? Yeah, man. Especially he's never done a show, never had a diet, nothing. Blessed. I know, right? Like you. Lucky. Well, like the three of you, all blessed. <laughs> I mean, if you need to pick up girls, you need to bring him. Yeah. You know, right? <laughs> like us. It must, be the, it must be the hair. I don't know. <laughs> so, Carlos, when you're doing this workout, do you have anything you want to say to anybody as far as tips or just what to do and what not to do when doing this? Uh, yeah, so... Basically, like, when you're doing this one, like, you know, essentially like the rope one, um, I actually like the, the strap where it's like the Vulcan strap, so they probably have different names, but you kind of put your hand in the strap, and you, like, tend to use, like, less, like, wrist. Yeah, know. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, so those are really good. Those are awesome. But um, if you have just, like, the rope here, like, like Eric, alluded, Eric alluded to earlier, like, you don't, want to, you don't want to be, like, way up, standing too high, you don't want to be too low, you know, you don't want to overarch your back or... You know, flex your spine too much. Um, so usually when I'm doing these, again, like I like to keep more of like a neutral spine, 
and I just come through, squeeze at the bottom. I prefer a, a controlled eccentric because that helps me connect with my back better than just like moving through the, the movement. So a nice controlled eccentric and squeezing on the concentric. Awesome. That was good. So we'll stop here and we'll go over to, head over to like a pull down. So usually I like to start with these, get the back nice and warm, opened up, and then do a pull down and then we'll alternate to a row. So I'll show you guys what we got going. Is this the secret right here? Yeah, so again, like we're just going for more of a... So we're going for more of just a neutral, a, a neutral grip on these because again, the hand positioning and the arm pack, you know, really helps you hit those lats all the way through. So when you're doing these, generally if you're up here, it's like a lot of like upper back. But if you're pulling here, not just like upper, but if you're pulling like down on the swing, you really hit those lower lat fibers. So that's like a focus of mine. Eric has a great back already. I'm just trying to build mine up. So a lot of my things right now, since we're doing my back workout, is focusing on hitting and targeting those iliac fibers, those lower lat fibers. doing squeeze or pauses or anything? Yeah, um, especially with like back again. I like doing like really hard contractions and focus on the eccentric. So you'll see like that's a theme just of my training and period is, you know, I, I, the load is important, but you know, the intent that you, that you approach, you know, the weight with is also very important. So, you know, you have to have a purpose and intent when you're just training. Like a lot of people can get away with just going in. It's very fun to just go in and swing weight, train hard balls to the walls. Did it for many years, but I didn't grow from it. So, um, you know, as I've gotten older and more uh, deep into my training, you know, I've learned to just lift with more intent, you know, and try to really connect with the muscle. Uh, Oh, 
stretch. Ah, okay, okay. Different, huh? Yeah, it's, it's just light too. <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, like, some, I mean, it's fun to move. It, it's fun to move weight, right? But it's like, what do I like better? What do I, what do I like more? Having a better physique or just you know lifting and like having for the fun for the fun of it? You know, the like, ego type lifting. Yeah, it's like it's a give and take. You want to enjoy your training, but you want to make sure your training is purposeful, right? And that you're getting something fun from it. So, you know what I mean? I try to balance the two. Try to enjoy my training, but also want training that's going to bring my physique to that next level. You know, make that quantum leap. And also, you know, we have a lot of young viewers and subscribers here. Yeah. It's all about safety, too. You don't want to get injured, and you want to make sure that you're doing everything proper. Yeah, you know, you want to be able to do this for a long time. I started lifting when I was 14 years old, and I'm 29 now. You know, you want to make sure you can lift, you know, all throughout your life. Because at the end of the day, you know, the gym is therapy for me. So if I can't do that, then... You know, it's, it's gonna suck. So. I feel like that bicep has a mind of its own. See, most people don't really think that off season is like that boring or boring or whatever. For a bodybuilder, off season is probably the most important part. It's just the only part in our training regimen, off season, where you're supposed to actually make improvements. You'll make improvements when you're cutting for a show. You know, you're done building muscle. It's not enough fat to see what you build. You're basically peeling away all that fat to show all the muscle you gained oh, over winter time. Yeah. Come on, drive. Drive. Fuck. So, you know, for taller guys, maybe above 5'7 and all, you know, they can, uh, it's hard for them to get that full stretch on the lips. Eccentric, eccentric, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> on that stretching movement. So you can't really get the full scope and the full benefit of the muscle. Because when you're contracting, Okay, you're outputting the force, but when you put it out here like this, that's when you're actually tearing the entire fiber. So you want to get that growth happening, you want to actually go all the way up, and then you squeeze. Pose down right here. Give me a double bye. Jesus. Most muscular. There we go. Looking solid. We got Mills over here dying. Come on. We got the prodigy, pretty boy Emilio. About to take on the stage soon. Come on. One more. Fuck. 
Trust me, man. You gotta earn this shit. No pain, no gain. Upset, buddy, come oh, yeah. on. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I tell you, if girls see him sweating like this, man, I swear to God, they're gonna have a heart attack, panties dropping everywhere. So fucking free, man. <laughs> come on. There it is. Oh, oh. Six. Uh. You need to be true to your followers. What did you just admit to? <laughs> what does this pump do to? I had three chicken Caesar wraps on the way over and a recent Caesars. My goodness. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, oh, don't tell my coach. <laughs> okay, so next, um, since I don't have this machine like specifically at the gym that I usually train at, and um, this is like a playground right now, so uh, we're gonna hit the two bar row right here. This is the, um, the Arsenal one. Um, and what I like about uh, the T-ball row, specifically this one, is that the handles kind of like swivel and rotate, and you can like adjust the, uh, the width of the, uh, the grip. Uh, so we're going to do a lock and load technique here, and um, when we set it up, I'll explain like how do we uh, perform the lock and load technique. So I'm going to set it up and then I'll explain. All right, so what we're doing now on this uh, Arsenal T-ball row is the lock and load technique. It's one of my favorite ones, um, just to generate a lot of... Uh, like a lot of tension in the lats because it's just like a pyramid up and then essentially a pyramid back down. So you'll see, we'll uh, we'll do five reps with you know these plates on and then like it's, we'll work up until I can't get five anymore and then we'll go back down peeling plates off. So uh, really simple but effective technique. So I'm gonna need two people actually. It might need like one or two people. We'll put them back on. Real, everybody. God damn. <laughs> All right, but you're so it sneaks up on you, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, I know. Come on. 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 Come on.
Come on. Confidently, like swinging around. Wait till it gets heavier, dude. Yeah. Come on, Mills. Come on. Project AD for always supporting me. And we just came out with an awesome new flavor of amino tour here, our EAA formula. It's the summer Snapple flavor. So guys, if you ever had a Snapple, this tastes just like it. So check out Project AD and use code Carlos10 for 10% off. Okay, so the next thing we have is a dumbbell rows. We're gonna finish off with these. Um, we're gonna do two uh, cluster sets. So we're gonna do a four by four. So it's like four reps, take about an eight to 10 second rest and then repeat that another three times. So, again, I got these uh, back from when I was coached by Patrick Tour, so I learned a lot when I was working with him. And uh, cluster sets are one of my favorite things to implement, um, you know, for my training program. So, we're gonna do a cluster set on the dumbbell rows here. So, check them out. It's uh, pretty intense, and you might wanna try them when you work out some Oh, okay. So, let's go. You ready for this? <laughs> God, I hope so. <laughs> Get the time for me. I'm not taking the rest, right? Is it? Yeah. All right. My body is good. I just start looking around at me and like, get the right seat up. I'm trying to Excited. 
Come on. for the birds, buddy. Come on. Two, one, go. Yes. Yes. That was not fun. That was not fun. Four reps. One, two, three, four. Good. Ten seconds. Next, next set, next set, bro. Come on. It's game time, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Two, one, lift. Come on. 
crutch. Come on. Oh. There you go. That's more for him. If you carry the back, bro, that's not heavy enough. You gotta go up, man. If you carry, if you... I don't really have to give an introduction to this man right here, but this is Senior. Carlos Thomas Sr. Comes everywhere. Oh, we gotta get some biceps over here. Let's do it one more time. Let me, let me grow mine up for you. <laughs> gotta get, I gotta get everything going. Why don't we give a shout out to Iron Rebel? God damn. That's what I like to say. All right. You gotta try to match that, bud. Oh, fuck. He's leaning. Let me do it my old way. Oh, oh yeah. My, no natural, my old way, I would put it all the way out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go all the way out here, put the elbows forward, and then I'll go. But it worked for you though, bro. Nah, that's your signature, I thought. So, my nationals way, I had the elbow slightly forward. Because I stole it from him when he was I just know, like, 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 like everything up here looks bigger when you do it like that. Yeah. Yeah. When you do it like this, everything's just like, you, like even though you got great shoulders, it's all flat. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you lift up like this and push forward, you push your chest up. up. So, it doesn't make like everything look like. You know, like, like flat. You know what I mean? Because it's front double bicep. You want, like, we'll throw Emilio in there. There we go. Young pro in the making. Yeah, you want the pizza to come over here. Yeah. Like raise your arms up a little more. There you go. Yeah. Because you want this to kind of come over here. Yeah. So just like right there. But the thing is, it looks good on you because like, you're, like when you're, the way you did it. Don't pop back too much. You no, know I'm saying like the way he did on his other stuff looks great. Oh yeah. Because like you know what I mean? It's like your physique is so unique. That the way you did it was like a signature pose for you. Yeah. You feel me? The old way you see, I, I took that from uh, Jason Hogg. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jason Hogg used to. He doesn't supinate his fist like this. He goes up forward like this. That's the yeah. would go like that. And then I would like pop my chest out like That's exactly where I've seen that from. Yeah. But it looks good. That makes both, sense. Both the Hogg brothers do it that way. Yeah. So it looks good on you. Yeah, because we. we Some, half the people side. like it that way. Straight the other half were all like. He needs to supinate this. Supinate, man. It's, yeah, it's your signature, like man. Wherever you want, dude. Your signature. Carlos, Carlos' signature. I, I don't know. It's everything. Well, a lot of people want me to like do it. It's crazy, right? I don't. Carlos. Carlos has abs. His full muscle belly. He's got like that bubbly, Phil Keith muscle. You know what I mean? Very bubbly. He's very round. Like a like a traditional bodybuilder supposed to be. Broad, round. Bubbly, full, very traditional. That's why, so why he's the future of bodybuilding. Very textbook. Both of your physiques, man, future. Hey, what's going on, guys? I know I get carried away with lifting sometimes. You know, I'm in the gym having fun. Uh, but I want to give a big shout out to my sponsors that support me. In particular, Iron Rebel. They just came out with this awesome big bag here. The Galactic Gray. So... This one carries my shaker cups, carries my workout gear, and it um, even comes with a nice pouch in the front that can carry all your um, supplements or any other gear that you want to carry. So guys, if you're interested in the big bag here or any other Iron Rebel gear, check out ironrebel.com and use code CARLOS for 10% off. So guys, that was the back workout for today, and we had Eric, Classic Physique Pro, um, shooting for the, the Toronto Pro in about six weeks. We had him join the back workout. We had Mills, the young, the young gun coming in, you know, inspiring men's physique um, competitors. So we had a young guy in. He also put in the work. It was a great back session. And uh, guys, we're going to see a lot of co content between me and Eric coming. So let us know in the comments what you'd like to see from us. Um, he has crazy legs, so there will definitely be a leg day coming and uh, a few other body parts as well as he prepares for the Toronto Pro. Uh, and after that, we'll also do some eating challenges as well because I'm a big foodie and he's a big foodie as well. And Brandon is a big foodie behind the camera. So we will be uh, having some food challenges coming out um, as well. I'm a huge foodie. So we're going to be doing food challenges all the time, food vlogs. So I'm really excited for that, to be honest. Yeah, guys. So thanks again for joining us for the back workout. Uh, again, comment below what you'd like to see from us next. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that jazz, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.